Well, welcome to another episode of Big Man Overland. My name is Aaron and I want to welcome you to this video. If this is your first time checking out Big Man Overland, I'd like to say welcome to the family. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to this video. That way you keep up to date with all the content that's going to be coming out soon. Today we're going to be talking about lights for your off-road rig. Now there's so many different options out there. You got KC highlights and you've got your Amazon off-brand stuff. And I don't know if there's a one way is better than the other. There's certainly one is significantly more expensive than the other. KC highlights are supreme. They are the Ferrari of lights, but they are also come with the price tag of Ferrari. I mean, if you want their light bar, you're spending $3,000 for a light bar. So I didn't want to spend the money on that. I like to spend my money on the creature comforts, like my sleeping and my kitchen and things like that. Auxiliary lighting is not something that I want to spend all of my money on. And so I went with the budget Amazon lights, the Nylite brand. Now I'm actually really impressed and happy with these lights. I use the Oxpeam six panel controller, um, but on the windshield, I have two white flood lights. Uh, so I can see off to the side and see the trenches. I've got two amber lights, which are more yellow than they are amber, but I roll with it. I also have a 42 inch light bar that's attached to the Rhino Rack Pioneer platform with their light bar adapters. I'm gonna talk about those for a minute. Now these light bar adapters are incredible. You know, a lot of people talk about how when they have their light bar, 50 inch light bar attached to their windshield, there's this loud whistle and a lot of noise and maybe you experience that yourself. There is no noise with this. Whether I have the rooftop tenter on, it is silent because it basically makes your light bar a part of that roof rack. Really impressive. The downfall is you only get a 42 inch bar. So I went with a curved bar, that way I can get a nice spread as I would if I had a 50 inch light bar. In the rear, we've got ourselves two white rear flood spots and then we've also got ourselves two amber lights now all of this with wiring install everything uh, i'm pretty sure we spent around 350 dollars to get ourselves two four six eight nine lights which i'm not sure if you can beat that like that's pretty great and i see everything at night so would i say it's worth it to buy the amazon cheap lights Yes, absolutely, you should do it. Some people have had issues, I mean, so be aware of that. Some people complain about fogging um, or water leakage inside the lights. I've never experienced that. Now my light bar is tucked underneath my roof rack and then the rear lights are tucked underneath my roof rack. So the only ones that I could anticipate having issues with are the ones on the windshield. But as of now, they've been through rain and snow and sleet and dirt and sunshine and all the things and have never once had one single issue. Not one dead LED node, uh, no moisture, no nothing, no noise, no rattles. One thing to make mention about the light bar adapters from Rhino Rack is that if you do have a rooftop tent, you're gonna have to do a little bit of metal cutting to drop your light bar down, or at least I had to with mine um, because it was causing my rooftop tent to sit on the light bar and causing it to you know, point down instead of point straight out. So I just went and got some flat bar um, from Home Depot, cut it into two inch length or two and a quarter inch length, and then bought some new hardware and was able to drop my light bar down just a little bit to accommodate the rooftop tent. So something to keep in mind if you choose to go that route. So yeah, get yourself some lights. Helps you see at night, it's safer for you when you're traveling at night. Um, I'm happy with the decision to get them. So you should too. Amazon Nylite brand. I'm not sure what else to say other than adventure's calling. Are you gonna answer? <laughs>